Daria Rosalyn, Georgia Bloom, Cheryl Meyer, Daphne Minton, Gabriella Isley, and Emmy Vonda. We've got all the girls from Series 3 Rainbow High on the show today to unbox to get a better, closer look at the brand new styles. Already hands down, I can tell you that Cheryl Meyer was one of the ones that I was waiting for to come out. She made some cameos on the show and they made her so much prettier in doll form. I just love her face, her outfit, everything about this doll. She is one of my favorites of the new Series 3 dolls and also Miss Georgia Bloom. She's our peachy toned Rainbow High doll and I have a feeling that her peachiness is why they named her Georgia because you know the Georgia peaches? Peach is the state's official fruit. Here's Miss Popular. A lot of people have been waiting on Daphne Minton, the mint doll. There's so much hype about this one. She's cute, but I have my favorites, just like you guys have your favorites. Don't forget to let me know on Instagram which of these girly girlies are your favorite. One other thing I noticed about Series 3 Rainbow High is that these girls are more of like the pastel rainbow. Are they not? I mean, kind of, sort of. It's like all the shades of the rainbow, but pastel. So I bought all of these girls on eBay. I couldn't find them in stores near me. Maybe I'm in the worst part of town to find a new doll that. So let's take a look at Cheryl Myers first. Onto the back, the back of the box, and the box itself has not changed. It's pretty much the same. We've got all six of the brand new girls on the back over here. And yeah, that's about it. On the bottom, it should tell us how much stuff we get inside each. Loving the hollow on the side of the box. We can see the major of each of the dolls over here. So Cheryl is the textile design focus. So she's into the fabrics. All right, so time to unbox Cheryl Meyer. Back here is her doll stand. I see her headband in there. Let's get that out. These little boxes I like to reuse for any Rainbow High play sets I make, like the fashion studio. So we're definitely gonna need some more of these. She's got a headband that says Rainbow. And here are her separate outfit pieces. She has the vest that says Rainbow. And then she has this see-through shirt. They all Velcro in the back, so that's always a good thing. And her Versace-inspired skirt. Ooh, and it's a nice satin fabric, so it feels and looks expensive. Here are her second pair of shoes. And these kind of remind me of the Valentino studded heel. So Cheryl gets a glittery yellow base and two hangers, a pants hanger and a rainbow top hanger. A matching yellow comb that says a rainbow. These are all true to the original series one dolls. They haven't changed anything there. And now let's take a look at Cheryl herself. I love her hair right out of the box. It's so voluminous and just so curly and full and not crunchy at all. They didn't put product in their hair this time. Not in the front, not on the back, not any section. And I feel like her curls are holding up beautifully. It might need a little bit of a comb, a little bit of a brush in the back, you know, cause she was in the packaging and it's kind of smushed that way. But I love the two tones of blonde in her hair. I see some gold bits, but the prettiest of all is her face. I love how they stepped up their face game. Different eyebrows, different eyes, different eye colors, different lip colors, different skin colors. Look at her beautiful eyes. They go so perfectly with her eye makeup, her hair, everything. And her eyebrows are my favorite. I love her thick eyebrows, they're so beautiful. She's got a glittery gold liner on her eyes. A nice set of lashes like all Rainbow High dolls. And I think what's really cool is that they outlined her lips with a darker color than on the inside. Really 90s, but it also makes everything come together so pretty on her face. Let's take a look at those earrings. She's got Rainbow High earrings, RH. They're like little pom-pom earrings, very cute. Now, on to her outfit. I love the yellow plaid, it's my favorite. She really is channeling Claire vibes from the movie Clueless. That's also very 90s, I think it came out like 1995, that was a long time ago. And she's got little gold buttons that say RH going along her jacket. She does have a buckle up front that also says rainbow in gold. I wonder if this can be taken apart. I feel like it can, because it has to. We have to be able to take it off, right? Might have a little bit of stitching to hold it together. 
or maybe like a little bit of plastic holding it together for packaging purposes. Her fingernails are some nice daffodil yellow color. And underneath, she has a pleated skirt with a cute plaid underskirt, adding more details and just more stuff to look at. She also has knee-high socks, and here are the first set of her shoes. She's got little bows on the side, and on the back, they say RH. And uh, yeah, so the hands should be removable just like OMG dolls. They're made from the same creators after all. Gently remove the hands for easier removal of the outfit. There you go, she wears a little t-shirt underneath. I think this is a one piece. Wait a second, I think that's another piece. Take the belt off, that's a separate piece. So here's what her outfit underneath looks like, but I think these are separate pieces. Yep, here's her little t-shirt, and this is kind of like a little halter top dress. She's got yellow undies to match her, of course, of course. And here's her t-shirt. Anything underneath, did they add any paint or anything underneath the shirt? Nope, it's the same, like the original rainbow high dolls, nothing underneath. You know, there's a whole lot of changes, so it doesn't hurt to check. The only point of articulation I feel like they missed is the ankles. They could have added that and they would have had full on articulation because her head can move up and down, side to side, a whole bunch of movement. Oop, I don't want to mess up her hair. And her arms, of course, bend, bendy, bendy arms and the shoulder. And here she is with her second outfit. What do you guys think? Is her second outfit a yay or a nay? I'm loving the first outfit, but the second outfit has its own character. Next up, we are checking out Georgia Bloom. Our peachy peachy keen doll. She is performance focused. Georgia Bloom comes with a really pretty peachy doll stand. Two matching hangers, one for her bottoms and one for her tops and dresses. This one doesn't say rainbow on it like Cheryl's hanger. She comes with a matching comb. I really like her second outfit. It's so pretty. Look at the gold and the peachy peachy color on there. And the little magnolia flowers, plus the pearl mesh trim on the bottom. And then this outfit comes with another crop top with a pearl trim up top. These all Velcro in the back. Here is her matching little tiny purse that you could actually put like a compact in. You know, stuff can fit inside of it, really cute. The handles are plastic. She's got the same magnolia flower with a pearl in the center. Reminds me of Chanel. They are really going high end here. <laughs> really designer and high end. Here are her chubby little Converse inspired sneakers. And here's Miss Georgia Peach herself. I mean, Miss Georgia Bloom. I'm loving her sneakers. They're adding a lot more detail to the sneakers this series. And there go her little socks. She's also got printed rainbow high socks, the RH logo on her pants, and a look at her hair. Look at those curls. Oh, except don't look at the back. We can fix that, it's fine. Actually, I think they did that on purpose because they want all the pretty hair up in the front, of course, with those luscious locks, those curls for everyone to see. And while Cheryl only got one little headband, Georgia Bloom gets five, five barrettes. One says rainbow, one says sparkle. Whoa, don't fall off there. One says love, rainbow, and just a plain old one. Let's take a look at her face. Her face, you can see that difference in the eyebrows. They changed it up. It's not the same as Cheryl's. Her eye color is also a brown, but she's got a little tinge of pink in there, matching her peachy color theme. And I love the peachy eyeshadows. Peachy eyeshadows are my favorite. They match with everything. And I love her peachy colored lip. Her skin tone is just a golden sun-kissed color. It goes so pretty with the peachy color theme. Look at her little jacket. So cute, her little cardigan. I love the fabric they used on it. Here is her peach crop top. And she's also got those buttons too, the gold RH buttons. Moving on down to her fingernails. They are, of course, a matching peachy color. Oh, and did we check for earrings? I don't think we did. Does she have earrings? <gasps> she doesn't have earrings. I guess the clips make up for it. And get this, guys. She actually has a back jean pocket. How cute. 
And here's our lovely gal in her second outfit. Doesn't she look like she's ready to go shopping? She looks so bougie. Next up, we are checking out Daria Rosalyn, our Pinky Pinkerton. Daria just so happens to be music focused. She gets a matching comb, berry colored hangers. Here's her doll stand. It's like a light berry sparkle. And here is Daria herself. Take a look at those eyes. They are so pretty. Let's take a closer look at her makeup. She's got a lot of blended maroon colors and a little bit of silver underneath. Her lips are a shimmery pink. She doesn't get any earrings, but I do love her hairstyle and how neat it is. I combed out the back so it's not like smushed and apart like they have inside the box. Let's check out her outfit, like the back of her jacket. She's got a half black, half light pink jacket with embroidered roses. They're actually embroidered on the back and on her sleeve. Let's see, does she have it on the other sleeve? Yes, she does. And the black is not just a plain old black. It's like a leopard print black. She's also got peekaboo sleeves on her jacket, some faux buttons, and her dress says magic all over it in foil. Looks like she has a t-shirt underneath the dress and some lace trim. Pink nail polish almost, borderline fuchsia. And check out her shoes. Very new to the rainbow high shoe game. She's got platform boots with black all over, red laces, and red and pink roses. For her socks, I think she's got some black and red rose socks. Let's check those out. Yep, those are some pretty socks. Let's take one last look at her original outfit before I change it out. And I'm gonna show you something new. You gotta know. And you know what I noticed? Her dress is actually lined. Otherwise, this top fabric is see-through. And I had a little bit of a hard time getting her hands back on. I took them off to take her jacket off, and this one went in okay, but this one, this one, almost broke my fingernail. But I got it in this much. I didn't wanna break this little doohickey that goes inside the armhole. So while I was getting her second outfit on, I noticed what was wrong with her hands and why I couldn't fit the other one on the way it should have been fitting. Look at that. Look how much longer this attachment is than this one. Sheesh. Okay, so Daria's second outfit is my favorite. I really like the rose look and I kept her socks on because I just thought it looked really cute with the outfit, it matched. There was no reason to take them off, but you could if you want to. Check out her little bag, it actually works. So she has a matching bag and it has a Velcro closure. You can fit a good amount of stuff in there. Now looking at her heels a little closer, it's reminding me a lot of Beauty and the Beast. We've got a lot of rows going on. So she has the RH buckle up front, but check out her heels. They've got roses on each side. It seems like the second outfit on almost all the dolls is my favorite, but we'll see. I really liked Cheryl's first outfit. Next up, we're getting minty with Daphne Minton. What are you, Daphne? She is accessory design focused. So Daphne, darling, comes with everything mint. Mint hair comb and mint hangers. And here is Daphne herself. I love her face. The face paint is just everything. Look at her eyes. The eyes completely match the hair. They didn't decide to go with a whole bunch of colors in there. Keep it simple. I love her lip color. That's something I would wear. It goes really nicely with the rest of her makeup, her cute freckles, her eyebrows. Love, love, love it. I feel like her hair maybe is a little bit blase. It is a lot more crimped in her box art. She does have a little little bit of a beach wave going on in the real doll. Whoa, that's a lot of <laughs> glare there. Let me see if I kind of cover that lamp light and you guys can get a better look at the shades of mint in her hair. She doesn't have one shade of 
hair rooted into her head, she has different shades of mint. Lighter mint, a darker type of mint, like a more greener mint. And they didn't really put any type of specific hairstyle on her like they did on the other dolls. So I feel like Daphne Minton needs a makeover. Just a real quick one. Just gonna quickly kind of boil wash her hair, add more crimps, because I do have a crimping machine. <laughs> I mean a crimping crimper, a crimper. But before we do that, let's check out Daphne's earrings up close. They do say rainbow on them. They are huge hoop earrings. They've got a chain link look going on. Now the jacket, she's got the same chain link going along her jacket as a print, RH and rainbow on the side of the sleeve. Same with the other side. The back should have the same print. Yes siree, the back has the same print. And a faux zipper. Let's see what's underneath here. Is this a tank top? Yes it is. I figured it was gonna be a tank top because that's gonna look cute once we take the jacket off. I like the Greek key print on the bottom of her tank top. And this tweed fabric is on my thigh. She's got like a little handkerchief tied up on the bottom of her skirt. I guess that's a look if you want it. And I think it might say rainbow on the little scarf. Yeah, it's kind of hiding in there. What about her nails? They should be minty minty. Yes, they are. And for shoes, she's got some open toed heels. Like the basic rainbow high heels, except in mint. As for the second outfit, let's take a look at that before I put it on her, just so you guys can see how many pieces we're looking at here. So we've got this really cute jacket with a gold embroidered chain link. I really like this look. It reminds me of high-end fashion, namely Chanel. I think a lot of people who are adult collectors of Rainbow High know the brands that they're referring to. Very bougie. So she also has this t-shirt that says a rainbow, lots of gold and white going on with Daphne. Here are her gold, white, and mint shoes. These are also open-toed heels. And her pants. She's got the same pattern, the same Versace looking pattern that Cheryl has on her second look. And then we've got like a snake print patch here and a leopard print patch and rainbow high written on the other pant leg. The little pockets in the back and the different color of mint on several different parts of the pants. All right, so I've slightly boil washed her hair. Not the whole thing, just the top to have it lay a little flatter. I'm sure you guys can see the before and after. I love it this way, but let's see if we can add a little more crimps to get her original look with my crimper. I have it on the lowest setting so I don't burn her hair. Even though rainbow high hair is good quality hair, it's not cheapo hair, but we still wanna be on the safe side. All right, so that is a whole lot more crimp than I wanted it. I wanted the more beach wavy type of look, which you can get with some braids and leaving it in overnight to dry. So wet braids, leaving it overnight to dry or maybe like two days to dry. I don't think I wanna do too much of the crimping on her hair. I don't know, it's too tight of a crimp. Of course I can always boil wash it out, but let me try the other side just to have it even out. Yeah, that's good enough. So we'll just leave it at that and leave her wider beach waves in the back. So for me, I'd much rather have Daphne in this jacket, that crop tank, and this skirt. I kept her shoes the same. I think she looks really pretty and classy with this look. I would ditch the hoop earrings and maybe give her earrings closer to Cheryl's, but she looks so pretty with this look. And now we can try the full second look that came in the box. Here I've got her with a crop top and her pants, plus her second set of heels. This way you can have a better look of what she looks like without any of her jackets. I feel like this jacket would go better with this outfit. Now let's take a look at her with that second jacket, completing the entire second outfit. Now let's unbox the Ice Queen herself, Gabriella Isley. You can already notice a huge difference in her face. She's got bigger eyes. Gabriella Isley is 
fashion technology focused. So here we have Gabriella Isley straight out of the box. She definitely looks like a winter doll. She's got her really heavy sweater and the metallic skirt. She also has a cute little rainbow decorative belt going across the skirt and her snake print winter boots. Now for her face, do you guys notice how different it is from the other Series 3 dolls? I feel like her eyes are a more round setting. Her hair color is a very beautiful ice blue and she also has the two clips. Her lips are a very pretty nude color and her nails are a baba blue. And of course I took out her base which is a light blue along with her hangers and brush. Here is her second outfit and shoes. She is giving me a lighter blue version of Skylar Bradshaw. I've got her second outfit on partially. I just want you guys to see the dress that she has underneath. It's a very fitted, almost prom looking dress with some silver on the side strap. She also gets a rainbow choker. So I guess that is a replacement for her earrings or a purse. And let's take a look at her entire outfit with those new heels. Her heels have a gemstone, almost icicle pattern on the back because they're see-through and you can see the light blue peeking through the clear. The jacket is mega detailed and we've got a whole gradient of different blues going on. A real buckle that actually tightens her jacket up, lace-up detailing on the side of the sleeves, and a faux zipper. I feel like this jacket gives her a edgier look. I can feel my body fold against the concrete But I can't seem to get enough My mind is fixed on what it wants I just let you beat me Look can be deceiving Let you get the best of me This is a no-go And finally, we've got our purple end of the rainbow with Emmy Vanda Emmy Vanda is visual arts focus Whoa, she really does remind me of Shadow, the OMG doll She's got pretty much the same color of hair, the same combination of colors, and the same gothy, vampy vibe. Except Shadow is more glam goth, and Emmy is a wee bit more new goth, I would say. Emmy comes with a set of instructions for her strappy heels. Just telling you how to tie it. And here are her accessories, comb and hangers. Her second outfit is pretty cute too. She's got a skirt with some suspenders and this really cute a rainbow high crop top plus a cropped hoodie. And her really cute moon socks with those strappy heels with the RH on the heel. The crescent moons remind me of Witchy Baby and really leans in more towards that dark midnight theme that she has. I want you guys to get a better look at her jacket and how detailed it is. We've got a whole bunch of embroidery going on. She has an embroidered crossbody bag. Looks like these are supposed to be embroidered pearls and the word rainbow. Ribbon strings for the hood. Little buckle pieces on each side of the sleeves. The really cool cutout effect with the zipper on each side. Does she have anything on the back of her jacket? Let's see. Nope, it's just plain and we've got the embroidery from the front going all the way to the back. For the side bag, she has a chiffon skirt, fuchsia colored nails, and some sky high boots with the letters RH, plus some stringed up bits on the top for detail. And here she is with her second outfit. I honestly like the second outfit better. It's kind of turning into a trend. The second outfit always tends to look a little better. Oh, and those straps on her skirt only are meant for decorative purposes. They are way too long to go onto her shoulders. I tried. It would have been cute, really cute with that crop top, but it's just not meant to be. I like the top without the cropped sweater, but you could always add the cropped sweater to add extra bulk. I don't know, keep her extra warm. But this look in itself is extra pretty. Oh, and let's not forget those super cute socks and those shoes. It could add a little extra frilliness to the outfit. And there you have it, all of the new girls from the Rainbow High Series 3 Pastel Rainbow. What do you guys think of the new outfits, the new faces? Oh, and I forgot to point out, all the girls have matte skin like the new dolls that we love so much, except for Gabriella Isley. She has the original Series 1 frosty look to her skin, and I'm guessing it's because they want to stay on point with the icy look. 
which girl is your favorite which of their outfits was your favorite first second let me know on instagram there will be pictures of the girls on instagram they are all so beautiful but my favorite favorite one was georgia bloom and cheryl meyer click the thumbs up button if you want more rainbow high subscribe if you haven't already tap the notification bell so you never miss a new video when i post it and until next time i will see you later bye for now